how I built a crypto portfolio tracker with Excel. It was early 2022. All my friends, their friends, my grandma and all her friends, even my dog and all her puppy friends have already invested in Bitcoin. I was feeling left out. The FOMO is real. I finally decided to pull the trigger on 13th of Jan and I bought a whopping $100 worth of Bitcoin on that fateful day. As I wait for my Bitcoin millions or maybe even billions to accumulate, I thought I'll create a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency portfolio tracker in Excel and keep track of my progress. So in this video, let me tell you the story of how I constructed this cryptocurrency tracker using Excel. Let's go. As you can see, this crypto portfolio tracker not only tracks my Bitcoin and Ethereum investments, but it also tracks the mutual funds that I invest in as well as any stocks or shares that I purchase uh, in the stock market. Uh, of course, most of these numbers are made up. I just wanted to demo the functionality to you so that you can understand how all of this is put together. So we could clearly see through the tiles on the top how much I have invested, what is the current market value of my investments, uh, any um, profit or loss that I made. Uh, of course, I wouldn't realize this unless I sell something and a percentage return as well as a very simple graph of my investments versus current value. And I can see the individual performance of my investments as well as category performance by crypto, uh, exchange traded funds or mutual funds and then stocks and a, a overall portfolio split of how my money is allocated to various categories. Now, before we begin, I must tell you that I'm using Excel 365 uh, and it has this beautiful stocks data type feature available right out of the box. So I can use that to both track my investments and then see the current price of an investment, um, whether it is a Bitcoin or it is a stock or it is a mutual fund. To start off, what I did is I set up two tables. Uh, the first one is a purchase tracker. Uh, so this is kind of like a ledger where I would record all my purchases. So this is a table wherein I would input the instrument or the coin or the item that I'm purchasing, the date on which I have purchased, how many units I have purchased and what is the amount that I have paid for that. In the other table here, I have listed all the available items that I could potentially purchase. So if I want to, for example, invest into another type of uh, stock or currency, I must first list it in the available items and then I can add it to the purchases. So for example, let's go and invest in the ANZ bank. So I'm just going to type ANZ here uh, and we will just put this as stocks. And now this is available for me to purchase, add a new row to the table and then using the data validation, I can pick up my ANZ stock. I can type the current date. Um, we will buy 20 of these for 550. Uh, and you can see that immediately both my investment and current value is updated. My profit loss is updated. My returns are updated. So now that we have kept track of our purchases in the purchase table, I can go to a new worksheet, the portfolio worksheet, and here I can calculate all my numbers. So what I want to do is I want to list one item per investment. So if I bought like multiple times Bitcoin, then I just want to see one row for the Bitcoin. So here I'm using the unique function on the coin slash item column of the purchases table. So here, this is my table column and I'm simply asking, give me all the unique values and it'll automatically spill this down. And then once these are there, I just need to add up all the units for each item. So for example, Ethereum, New Zealand dollars, uh, I bought them twice. So on 13th of Jan, I bought 0.02 or 2 cents of Ethereum. And then on 17th of Jan, 0.19. So, uh, so this and that needs to be added up here. We could use the sum ifs function, sum ifs of purchases units, purchases coin slash item on, on this value. Now, because this formula needs to go as far down as the unique value itself, I'm using the spill range. 
so c8 hash uh, so that whatever the column c values are all of them will be calculated in the sum ifs and they'll just kind of go down the total amount that i have invested is again another sum ifs formula which just adds up the amount for the ethereum now comes the fun part which is what is the current value of my investment so i put in 200 dollars but how much is it worth as of today and this is where we can use the data types feature because ethereum is already identified as a stocks data type i can simply use the price aspect of that so here i'm using a complex formula because i need to multiply with how many units i have but if i just want to see what is the current price of ethereum i can use this so for example here i can say um, that has my data type dot price will give you the current price you could see that ethereum is four four thousand seven hundred and forty dollars in new zealand uh, everything is a new zealand currency here and uh, here to calculate the value what we will do is we'll take the units times the coin slash item current price so this many units at the latest price of that and then using the spill operators the beauty of all of this is the formula will automatically go down based on how many unique items are there so you'll get that you know 200 i put in my current value is 194 uh, same for bitcoin i put in um, 838 and it's now worth 817 so as you can clearly see it's gonna be a while before i become a bitcoin millionaire but it's not it's all right i am not in a hurry uh, so we will just continue building the portfolio tracker and use it to see uh, when I'll get there. Uh, and then we can calculate the profit or loss of my total investment on that by subtracting value from the investment. So in this case, I make $6 loss for Bitcoin. I'm making $21 loss, but certain other investments like my emerging markets mutual fund with smart shares. Uh, I am making $30 profit and I can calculate the totals as well, which is using a sum on the spill range. So once these numbers are there, I put them on nice tiles up there with uh, some shapes and some text boxes which are linked to the calculations here. So this is a text box and you can see that it is linked to E24 which is this cell here so this is how that part of the report is built uh, this graph is again just using these two values and kind of coloring them uh, to calculate the category level totals i'm using the category here and then um, you know just summarizing that there and once the values are summarized i can create a tree map to show how my overall investment is split so that is the story of my crypto portfolio tracker. If you want a copy of that file, feel free to download it from the video description links below. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Excel dashboards, here is a playlist for you. Check it out. Now I'm going to go back and wait for my crypto millions. Bye-bye. <laughs>